Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the next episode of my free SEO playlist. This episode is going to be about finding good niche blog post ideas. In the last episode, I wrote this article here using Jasper. Again, there's going to be a Jasper affiliate link in the comments. Probably not going to use Jasper in this episode, but if you want to know how to write an article once you find it, then this is how. You can just watch the last episode. Let's talk about actually finding the keywords or the blog post ideas. So I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use search operators probably on Kiora to start off with. So let's do sitekiora.com in title NFT. Oh, it's in Italian. What is NFT and why is it trending? What is the best way to this is a really good keyword. So like if we type on Google um, how to how to get into NFTs, probably that Kiora answer is going to be on this page. It's actually not. I'm actually I'm quite surprised by that. Can anyone get into, into NFTs? So I always go to the people also ask. I'm going to zoom in because people have been saying they can't read my screen. So I searched for the keyword that I found uh, here. What is the best way to start getting into the NFT space? And then how to get into NFTs, I use my brain to come up with this uh, keyword. We can also check uh, the auto suggests. So these things here, how to buy NFT on Binance, that's a really, really easy video slash article combination. How to buy NFTs on OpenSea, that's a really, really easy one as well. How to buy NFTs on Coinbase, etc. And then we've got how do I join NFTs? Can anyone get into NFTs? How much more money do you need to how much money do you need to buy NFTs? How much does it cost to start NFTs, etc.? These are all really, really good uh, titles. So what I'm gonna do, actually, I will open Jasper instead of Google Documents because it's basically the same thing. And then I'm gonna click on documents, start from scratch, and then I'm gonna copy this keyword. And I'm gonna grab these as well. And then we'll call this um, how to get into NFTs and then save. And then we can go back and then it's here. So that is one done. Let's have a look at another one. What makes NFT digital art valuable? Interesting. So while I'm on this topic, another really interesting thing that we can do is we can actually answer these questions. Okay, so uh, let's actually just quickly. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually answer this question. I'm gonna use Jasper. Um, I'm only doing this because um, I'm showing you the process. You can write the answer yourself as well. Let's just see what Jasper comes out with first time. This could be interesting. NFT art is valuable because it is a unique and perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna grab that and I'm gonna put it there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post that. Okay, and then later, at a later date, once I've written the article, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna add a link to the article. Okay, the reason that we're gonna do it like that is because it will probably get deleted. Like this, this person here has done exactly the same thing. I guarantee this person owns this um, website. This is a very common thing. Look, there we go. This is probably their website as well. It's the same thing, Ubit. I guarantee this person has Ubit somewhere here, my personal website. It's actually not Ubit. Okay, you get the idea though. You can put links to your own website. So what makes digital art valuable? Let's go back to Jasper. Start from scratch. Uh, what makes NFT digital art valuable? And then I'm gonna Google that exact question again. This is always my process, guys. I find this to be the best way to do things. So I'm gonna grab these three, but three is not really enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna click on this one, this one. And I'm gonna click on. Mm, 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 mm. How do I know if my NFT is rare? That's a good one. Okay, so because this is quite a niche topic, uh, clicking on the questions is actually not yielding uh, the normal result. But we can still grab some of these and stick them here. And then I think if I just put the title there and then go back, 
there we go. That's two done, that's two solid uh, blog posts. We can even probably use uh, Jasper to uh, write some more titles, so write more titles. Is this gonna work? Yep. <laughs> It's not in the right niche at all. Um, write more titles about what makes NFT digital art valuable. Because we want about, I would say, eight titles. What to turn, okay, what, do, okay, nice. Okay, they've just copied. It's just copied, but you get the idea. What are the best uses of NFTs? That's a really, really good one, actually. I'm going to definitely grab that. It's a really important article to write as well. I'd quite like to just write that myself, probably not even using Jasper. What are the best uses of NFTs? Uh, put that as a title. And then we're going to have a look. What can I buy with NFT tokens? What is NFT on untouchable token? What are the best NFT tokens? Um, so I'm going to actually change the question here. Use cases for NFTs. This is using my own brain. Uh, so let's grab that keyword you can if you know about a topic guys please just don't be afraid to use your own brain I can't say this I can't stress this enough people in Facebook groups are obsessed with keyword tools but Google and your own brain are easily the best keyword tools you don't even really need to understand the topic that well um, what can NFTs be used for in the future I love that question let's click that can NFTs be useful? Why do people use NFTs? There's two more, great. Actually, they'll probably go above. You wanna do them in order of importance, okay? And another thing, I probably should have mentioned this in the last uh, the last video that I did. You always want to write, I'm, I'm gonna do this live just because I think this is so important. So um, let's try, if, let's see if we can get uh, Jasper uh, to do something. Only differ from each other. For example, you can have a non-fungible to run your favorable baseball card. This would be different from any other baseball card on the market and is such considered to be non-fungible. <sighs> okay, so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get these use cases here and I'm going to put them here and then I'm going to run that again. So let me just explain this because I, I don't I feel like I didn't explain this properly in the last video and I've been thinking about it ever since this title here is this title here but if you want to write about can NFTs be useful you want to change this title and you want to change this information okay but because I want to write specifically about what are the best use cases here I'm gonna put this title and I'm gonna put this information here and then what I'm gonna do is at the beginning of your article, you want to list the, here, here are the top 10 use cases for NFTs. And then you want to immediately answer the question at the top of the article. Okay, I didn't actually do this in the last one, um, but it's really, really important that we do this because we want to keep people on the page. And if you're writing like a thousand words before you give people the answer, they're just gonna leave, okay? If you don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm just pressing Control J while I'm talking, and I'm just letting uh, Jasper do the uh, do do the work for me. Much more, okay. So <clears throat> I have now effectively just answered the question at the very beginning of the article, which is a super important part of this process. I really should have mentioned this in the last video. I apologize for not talking about this more and for not even doing it in the in the video. I was pretty distracted and I was just trying to get it done as quickly as possible. I'm gonna put actual numbers here. Uh, normally you would delete, I'm gonna delete these all one by one way. Okay, so immediately answer the questions. So you want a little intro paragraph here. Hopefully this will just give me a little intro paragraph. Okay, get rid of that formatting, there we go. Let's quickly summarize the top, no, the top use cases for NFTs. Okay, then we'll get rid of that. Okay, we're at 314 words. I wasn't even planning on writing an article, and 
I've already basically finished this article to be honest with you. But yeah, this I just want to talk about the process. You can see the Kiora is really, really good. Is NFT a fad? Another really, really good one. How to buy the initial offerings of an NFT. So how to get into an NFT project early. That would be a really, really good article to write. Because the thing about Kiora is this is what's known as uh, UGC. No. Um, user generated content. Google loves user generated content and you can use like forums and things like that. Okay. To if, if so, in certain niches, like uh, in the niche that I work for, I work for a website called iSuit and we sell classic menswear clothing, okay, um, like suits and things like that. So, what I do is actually I use a forum called styleforum.net to find uh, my keywords, okay. So, I do in title and I get uh, in title it on for example okay which is one of the brands that we sell and then I can um, try and find something basically and I actually did do this is this kit on suit worth the price or um, I found one where it was like why is kit on so expensive basically so what did I do I wrote the article and it was for a long time the featured snippet um, this is the article that I wrote right here Unfortunately, this person uh, has taken the top spot, which is really, really annoying me, uh, to be honest with you. I think I can take it back, but it'll take me a while to work on that. Okay, so using forums, or you could use Reddit, for example, so site reddit.com, in title um, Reddit, uh, not Reddit, <laughs> in title NFT. I've done all of these methods before, and I have found really, really good uh, keywords. Um, I actually prefer Kiora because Kiora are basically all questions. <laughs> What's an NFT? How does it work? And why do they suck? Hmm. So that is a pretty interesting article. So why do people think NFTs suck? And why NFTs do suck in a lot of cases. But also maybe talking about why they're actually useful and how they'll be useful. That would be a really, really good article. I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. I've given you a pretty thorough overview. I will just quickly mention one more thing, if, just in case you do have Ahrefs. Um, I don't really like talking about it because it's such an expensive tool, but if you have got it, then you want to be doing some something which I'll quickly show you. But I would like to show the progress. So this has actually gone down. Oh, no, sorry, it hasn't gone down. It's gone up. Uh, we've gained 4.9 thousand keywords. Is it, how many days is this? The last 30 days. Oh, I didn't even know. That's ins that is completely nuts. This is using all of the methods that I've shown you from start to finish in uh, this series, mainly the last kind of three episodes. That's what I've been doing recently, and you can see that it's absolutely smashing it. Okay, but let me quickly show you something. So we can also we can do um, Site Explorer, and we can do Kiora.com, and then we can go on to, uh, where is it? Uh, either top pages or organic keywords. I'm actually gonna go on top pages. I'm really hoping that Ahrefs will actually load this time. It has been slow recently. I'll let that load. Honestly, I find it really, really stupid that a tool that we pay $120 for and has this amazing reputation and I do really really like it but it can't load uh, the, the websites properly if they're really really big but you can click on keyword filters here and then words in keyword or not words in keyword sorry if you click on keyword filters and go keyword contains NFT okay so you can see that there are some keywords here that we can have a look at. So cheapest NFT is a very interesting, let me zoom in guys, sorry. I'm really trying to remember that. Cheapest NFT, screenshot NFT, how to buy an NFT in India. That's a really interesting keyword actually. How much does it cost to make an NFT? That's a really good keyword. Our NFT scam, that's just a classic keyword. Screenshot NFT, that's again coming up. How much does it cost to mint an NFT? How to get whitelisted NFT? What is the point of NFTs? You get the idea, guys. You can use Ahrefs. It's a really, really strong tool. And then you can also, one more thing that you can actually do 
is if you like a specific keyword, I saw a really good one before. Yeah, how much does it cost to make an NFT? You can see that there are actually 34 keywords here, okay? So a lot of these will just be repeated, but you should always be checking this if you do have Ahrefs just to make sure that there's not anything important here that you don't wanna miss. But to be honest with you, I'd rather just use Google itself. I just, I do do this sometimes just to make sure because I have the tool anyway, because I'm tracking the progress of our website. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you find some blog post topics. I hope this find, helps you find some keywords. Don't be obsessed with uh, keyword, uh, don't be obsessed with keywords, okay? And keyword tools as well, because you can see Ahrefs just gives like the same keyword. It says 32 keywords, but they're basically just the same keyword. Just look at it, okay? And if I do the same thing with uh, something like keyword tool IO, They'll all just be the same. Look, uh, how much? It, what was the keyword? How much does it cost to create an NFT? How much? Does it cost? Because the problem with these tools is they just use um, they use the literal keyword, right? But if you use Google, okay, that's a really interesting one. Collection marketplace. Okay, there are actually some really good ones here. Uh, keyword tool, uh, IO, I, I almost forgot to talk about it. I'm so happy that I remembered to talk about it because I do use it quite a lot. This is a good one, actually, uh, because it uses this. It uses Google Auto Suggest, and it's completely free, guys. Okay, why did I almost forget to talk about this? Uh, I would say this is one of the best tools, actually, and also Google itself. These two in combination will set you right, just write content that you find. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps, and peace out.